Hello, welcome to your poolside power yoga flow class. Start starting in easy seat, lifting up through the crown of the head, connecting to yourself before reaching the hands back, fingers pointing towards the back of the mat, opening through the chest, rolling the shoulders back, taking nice big belly breaths. And exhale, coming through center, taking the right ankle on top of the left knee before walking the fingertips out in front. Be finding a little sway, just gently opening the outer hips, the glutes. Inhale to come back up, reaching behind you, pressing the pelvis up to the sky before gently uncrossing the legs and switching sides left ankle on top of right knee, walking the fingertips out, finding a little dynamic movement to help open us up before pressing back up, reaching the hands behind us, lifting the pelvis to the sky, head comes back, and gently come back down, uncrossing the legs, tucking them behind us to come onto the toes. Inhale the arms above the head, exhale, clasping them together, pushing them away from you in front of the chest, opening the shoulders. Inhale, arms back up, exhale, coming into eagle arms. My right is underneath my left, inhaling, bringing the hands up, up above the head. And exhale to gently release, extending the arms to the sides, circling them around. Going the other way, feeling the shoulders open up. Maybe bending the arms, flowing them in front of you, finding any movement that feels good. We want to make sure that we're opened up before we start power flowing and taking eagle arms on the other side. Lifting on the inhale and gently releasing on your next exhale. Palms come to the mat, walking back to the middle, tabletop position, finding our foundation before inhaling, dropping the belly and exhaling, rounding through cow, cat. A few rounds of cat, cow here. Moving with the breath, maybe swaying side to side, finding any funky variations, making sure we warm up the spine. Whatever feels nice and juicy here. Coming back to neutral spine before extending the right leg behind, crossing it over the left ankle, looking back at the toes for a nice long lateral stretch of the side body. Maybe rocking on the toes, warming up the foot and bringing that right leg around to the side, toes pointing forward, inhale, lifting up onto the knees, arms overhead, releasing the right hand down towards the foot, keeping the chest nice and lifted using the core to lift up and switch sides, planting the left arm, reaching over with the right. One more time. Seeing if we go a little bit further. Planting the left hand option here to come into half moon, lifting the right leg, grabbing the right ankle, opening the chest, feeling the space in the back. Gently release, coming back down onto the knees on all fours. Extending the left leg, taking the gaze over at the toes. Warming up the foot. Before extending the leg to the side and slowly inhaling up onto the knees. Reaching over to the left, getting a nice stretch of the side body. Before coming up and planting the right hand, reaching over with the left, using our core here to switch sides, walking the left hand down the left leg, and back.
back over to the right, option to take half moon, using our balance, reaching back for the ankle, pushing the chest forward using the opposition of hand and foot, and release, coming back onto the knees, walking the fingertips out to the front of the mat, the knees back, melting the chest down. Maybe taking a few pulses here, feeling a deeper sensation with every exhale. Melting the heart down, checking in with ourselves. Inhale, lifting the chest, tucking the toes, coming into plank pose and taking a few rocks, sucking the core into the spine before slowly lowering down into chaturanga, inhaling upward facing dog and exhale over the toes, downward facing dog, pedaling out the feet. Finding what feels good. Lifting the right foot, three-legged dog. Pulsing the leg in the air. Bending the knee, opening wide for hip circles, drawing circles with the knee. Stabilizing yourself, gripping through the mat. Using your core, opening the knee to the side, gazing under the shoulder. Exhaling back to three-legged dog, taking the knee through the hands, planting it outside the right hand, coming into lizard. Using the hand gently on the knee to open up the hips a little bit more. Gazing up or slightly behind, grounding through the outside edge of that right foot. And exhale to slowly heel toe through center and drop into pigeon. Taking a moment to find what feels good here before inhaling the arms above the head, taking a slight back bend, making sure we're still able to breathe fully and deeply. And folding over into sleeping pigeon Maybe elbows come to the mat, maybe forehead comes to the mat. Maybe we dance it out a little. This is your practice. And lifting the chest, tucking the toes, sending the right leg back, three-legged dog. Right foot comes to the mat, we bend the knees and take the hips to the right side and the left. Finding a little wiggle room here, finding a little fun before coming back to downward dog, lifting the left leg, pulsing a few times, bending the knee, drawing circles, opening up that hip joint, and gazing underneath the shoulder, stacking the hips on top of each other. Exhale, straighten the leg, Bend the knee, take it through, and plant it outside the left hand, lizard pose. Resting on the outer edge of the left foot to open up more space for the hips. Remembering to breathe. And on your next exhale, gently heel toe the foot to the opposite side of the mat and lie down for pigeon pose. <sighs> on your next inhale, raising the arms above the head, interlacing fingers, pointer finger out, taking a slight back bend, lifting the chest to the sky, opening your heart your mind and exhaling, coming forward into sleeping pigeon, making this a dynamic stretch, moving side to side, maybe up and down, maybe reaching out with the fingertips, and inhale, walking the hands back, tucking the toe, taking the left foot back, three-legged dog. 
neutralizing and downward facing dog before lifting the heels, rolling through the spine, bending the knees and sending it back. Inhale to roll and exhale to send the hips back, downward facing dog. One more time, ending in plank, taking a vinyasa, meeting an upward facing dog, over the toes, downward facing dog, lifting the right foot, bending the knees, stepping it through, inhaling up to warrior one, checking our foundation, our heel alignment before opening to warrior two, gazing over the right fingertips, reaching forward and back, peaceful warrior. Windmilling the arms around, extended side angle. Taking a breath here before releasing the right hands to the mat, straightening the leg for triangle. Using your core, taking the right leg back to meet the left, coming into side plank, connecting with your center here, reaching up with the left fingertips, taking that left leg, pointing the toes to the right knee, grounding through the outer edge of the right foot, extending the left leg straight and bending the knee, bringing it forward, planting it by the right hand. Inhale, warrior one. Feeling our power and exhaling through warrior two, gazing over the left fingers. Reaching forward and back, peaceful warrior. And windmilling around, extended side angle. Nice long lines. Reaching down, straightening the front leg, coming into triangle. The hand can be on the ankle, the shin. Using our core, stepping that front foot back to meet the right. Coming into side plank. You got this. Option to modify as needed, coming down onto the knee, connecting to your core strength, bending the right knee, straightening the leg, using peace fingers to big toe, deep inhale here, and exhale, bending the knee, bringing it around, lowering the left leg, coming into low lunge the arms behind us, sweeping them overhead, exhaling cactus, inhale arms up, exhale cactus. On the next exhale, open wide, sending energy out through the fingertips before reaching back, left arm overhead, windmilling the arms around, planting the left hand, and grabbing onto the ankle with the right, getting a nice quadricep stretch. Releasing the foot, tucking the toe, shifting our weight to the side, coming into side lunge. Shifting side to side, moving with the breath, using our fingertips on the mat to stabilize us, or having a challenge, and keeping our hands at heart center. One more time each side before evening out, turning to the back of the mat and releasing our right knee for low lunge. Shining the heart forward and inhaling the arms above the head, exhale cactus. Inhale up, exhale cactus. Inhale. And this time revolve to the side, fingertips wide, feeling our energy and planting the back hand, reaching overhead with the right for a nice twist. Big inhale and exhale to plant that right hand, grabbing the ankle with the left, quadricep stretch. Releasing the foot, windmilling around to tuck the back toe, coming into plank, taking a vinyasa. 
meeting in downward facing dog. Gazing at the hands walking or jumping up to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Bending the right knee and taking the left arm up above for a twist. Chest nice and open, circling the arm around, maybe taking a bind here. Stepping the right foot back, coming into triangle pose. Circling the left arm, turning to the side of the mat, wide-legged forward fold. We might want to spread the feet apart a little, moving with the breath, inhale, finding length, exhaling to fold. Turning all ten toes to the front of the mat, planting the left hand, raising the right for triangle pose. Taking a breath here. before stepping the back foot up to meet the right. Taking a bend in that left knee, raising the right arm above to revolve. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, palms together, slight back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale. Bending the knees, coming into chair pose, grounding through all four corners of the feet, sinking into the hips, and exhale, hands come behind, moving with the breath, inhale, arms above the head, maybe lifting onto the toes, finding our balance, exhale, bringing the hands behind, maybe lowering the chest slightly. Inhale up and exhale behind. One more time up. Exhale, plant the heels forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. And untuck the toes, coming all the way onto the belly, lifting the chest. Taking the right ankle into the bum for half bow pose. Breathing through this deep stretch. Gently releasing and extending that right leg up to the sky. Getting a nice stretch in the groin. And release, coming back onto the belly, taking the left ankle into the bum. Breathing nice and deep before rolling onto the side, straightening the leg. And releasing it back down onto the mat. Coming onto the belly, steepling the fingers outside of the mat, just outside. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, down onto the mat. Flowing through this cobra flow. Synchronizing breath to movement. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. One more time, up and fold. Releasing the hands below the shoulders, pressing up back onto the knees, sending the hips back into child's pose. Maybe widening the knees, melting the heart down. Noticing how we feel now, as opposed to beginning of our practice. Maybe walking the fingertips out Lifting up the hips, coming into this modified puppy, big toes still together. Gently lifting the chest, coming onto all fours, making our way into a gentle seat. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today.
It's an honor to be your guide. If you enjoyed this poolside power yoga flow, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Namaste.